Hi! Today, Brewtube is at a very special site and I am very happy to be here today. I've waited a long time to come up here. Uh, we're in a town called Colville, or near to Colville, around Leicester. Uh, it's a very important site. This is the UK's only Trappist brewery. Welcome to Mount St. Bernard. This is the home of the Tint Meadow Ale. If you're enjoying this video, please hit the like button. So, having visited the uh, Mount St. Bernard Abbey, which I was very, very pleased to have done, uh, it was quite exciting to, uh, to actually be like, sort of on, the, on the actual site where it was. Um, I've come away with uh, a few of their um, uh, a few of their brews. I thought they did cheese as well, but uh, not. The bread they do is a self-baked one, um, and I've got some of the honey, so the like, picnic-style uh, taste test I was planning was kind of a bit of a bust, but uh, uh, that's okay. I'm getting to try it now, um, and I said, thought, well, you know, what better place than to come to the uh, Fitzrovia Chapel? So here I am, I've got some pizza, um, got a bottle of the beer, so uh, I'm going to crack that and uh, see, uh, see how it goes and let you know uh, uh, what I think of it got some uh, uh, information to uh, uh, drop on you first um, so uh, yeah this is actually the only UK Trappist uh, brewery um, it's uh, near to the town Colville uh, in, uh, in Leicester in England um, it was founded in 1835 uh, in the parish of Whitwick the, the Abbey was actually the first uh, permanent uh, monastery to be founded in England since the Reformation, um, sole Trappist house in England. I visited the site, um, uh, it is lovely, obviously it's very uh, uh, peaceful, I was very pleased that the uh, M1 didn't go through there, that would have been uh, uh, a real shame. The, the Abbey is actually fairly sort of bland, it looks a bit sort of stark, there's a uh, um, big wooden uh, uh, crucifix. So as they said on, uh, on, on Wikipedia, um, it is actually uh, um, a sort of severe undecorated um, gothic style uh, church. Um, that was quite traditional of the uh, Cistercian order. Uh, it was only in 2018 that the, um, the Abbey's monks uh, became the first Trappist uh, brewers. The the beer, Tint Meadow, actually gets its name from the original site um, where the, uh, uh, the first building was built. Interestingly enough, this brewery only brews the one ale. Uh, so whereas obviously you'll know from uh, places like uh, West Flatteran and like sort of uh, um, all these other places, they do four, five of like varying staggering strengths. Um, this one comes in at 7.4% um, ABV. Very excited to try it out, and I was thinking because it's on a stronger, uh, stronger side, try the uh, uh, more basic food pairings, but something that's uh, um, quite sort of uh, rich and a bit greasy. And I thought, what better than a bit of pizza? Um, trying to get it into my cheeky lunch hour. This beer has a 96 rating on rate beer. So actually, until 2014, uh, the monks ran a 200-acre uh, dairy farm, but it was hit by the uh, falling milk prices. Maybe this is why I got the idea that they actually made uh, cheese to start with, but they don't. So that was basically their, uh, uh, their prime source of uh, revenue, which was then gone, and needed to, to uh, uh, find somewhere else uh, uh, to, find their, uh, to find their money. And obviously, uh, um, uh, as with all the sort of Abbey's monasteries, they're all self-sufficient. So uh, they do have an apiary. I have bought some of their honey. Uh, have got some of their, uh, uh, their bread to bake. Um, and obviously, they have all sorts of like, arts and crafts and, uh, and gifts in the gift shop. So it is worth, uh, it is worth a, uh, a trip. The grounds are a little bit um, limited, um, but there is a, a, a beautiful like, outcrop that you can actually walk up uh, and see, and there's um, uh, obviously lots of um, uh, statues around, and uh, um, it's, a, it's a fascinating place to visit, to be fair. So there are some accounts which indicate that uh, possibly uh, in the 19th century they were brewing beer on this site. Early states goes back to 1847. 
and reportedly the uh, uh, the monks were brewing a beer of uh, purity and excellence so I'm hoping for exactly the same thing today. So in uh, July 2019 it was reported that the Abbey uh, had produced 30,000 bottles of the Tint Meadow and that actually it was struggling to keep up with demand. The beer unsurprisingly had become very popular in Belgium and the Netherlands which are well, certainly Belgium is a, um, a country with uh, a lot of Trappist breweries. Obviously the brewery does actually uh, take second place to the daily lives and uh, obviously their uh, devotion to their faith. I am hoping to do a, a longer piece there. Um, I am in, uh, like I said before, I am in dialogue with them to see if I can actually uh, gain like a special access to be able to film a bit more about their life but predominantly about the brewery so watch this space. Not being too adept at uh, trying to open a bottle with my teeth. <laughs> She <laughs> came out with a spanner, um, but uh, yeah, got the cap off. Here goes. Having bought the um, uh, the gift pack, I also have uh, the the glass which has uh, the uh, uh, the logo as well on it. So here we go. Looks like a deliciously dark beer. Strong wind to mend that I haven't been able to do this uh, straight pour and uh, take my time and plus I'm uh, slightly pressed for time anyway so uh, here goes nothing, cheers all. Delicious. Sweet, not overly sweet. Um, toffee, caramel, bready, malty notes. Maybe a um, little sort of, not quite sort of spiced or sort of peppery, but there's, there's something there which is interesting and it's got a nice little clean bit of finish to it. Oh, look at that colour. I do trust you, yeah. True, um, true liquid bread. It's got um, yeah, some spicy notes on the nose. I I don't know what yeast they use. I'm hopefully going to be discovering all of this, but uh, it's um, yeah, delicious. Getting some um, some fruitiness through. Yeah, breadiness. It's actually fascinating. Everything that uh, you're getting as a flavour, you can also then uh, uh, get as the aroma. It's um, very nice beer indeed. Delicious. Cheers all. Just very re reminiscent of your uh, Orval, your West Veterans. You're just all of those sorts of trappist beers that um, uh, rich dark breadiness um, bit sort of toffee um, nothing nothing burnt nothing sort of shocking or sort of overpowering and uh, um, no fusels but uh, yeah 7.4 percent beer and uh, deliciously clean very nice if you do see it in your local bottle shop if you're more, more inclined to do a pilgrimage and actually go up there, I definitely recommend getting a few bottles of that. I've got one actually I'm going to uh, uh, be, be keeping to uh, um, sell a little bit longer. I'm hoping to do a video about that as well, so do keep your eyes open because I'm also aging some of the, uh, the Fuller's beers from, uh, I think it was from 2020, 2021 and 2022. Um, so I'm looking forward to trying those a little bit later and just uh, see what they're like and uh, compare that to one of the the recent brews. I hope you're enjoying our content and if you do please hit the subscribe button. Jesus Christ. Okay, 
Tasha Law. See you again here soon.